Hello, Algebra 2 students. Um, today we're going to be going over the Unit 5 unit activity, which has, which has to do with solving for a given variable in an equation and also inverse functions and how these two concepts are closely related. So let me go ahead and present my screen here and go ahead and open up the Unit 5 activity. And go ahead and go to page three. It should look like this. But basically, this is showing that as a current of electricity goes through a system, these two, these two uh, light bulbs here are resistors. So as the electricity flows through this, this, these two light bulbs resist the current. So these are what we call resistors. And light bulbs can be resistors or any any electrical device can be in a, re a resistor but the total resistance coming through this parallel um, system is found using this so it's one over the total resistance equals one over the resistance of one of the resistors plus one over the resistance of the other resistor and that's the formula there now you can solve for one of the variables here and that's what they kind of show you here you could solve for R sub T, get R sub T by itself, and that would be the formula there. So it's just taking the same formula and getting R sub T by itself. Instead of 1 over R sub T, it's just straight up R sub T. And we'll go over how this works. Um, we'll go over examples with it in, in here. So you can go ahead and go to um, slide 7, 7 of 8, and we'll start working on these problems. And so it should look like this. And let's go ahead and look at question one here. So as we've seen, for a circuit with two resistors arranged in parallel, we could calculate the total resistance in the circuit, R sub T, in ohms with this equation. R sub T equals R sub 1 times R sub 2 divided by the sum of R sub 1 and R sub 2. Okay. And let's take a look at question one. So rewrite the equation to represent the resistance of resistor two. So we want to get R sub two by itself in terms of R sub T and R sub one. So we want to get R sub two by itself. So let me go ahead and I'm going to grab this equation here. And everything I write here on this um, Jamboard, you should probably write. So that'll help you understand the material much better. Just write everything that I write. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get R sub T or sorry, R sub two by itself. So our goal is for it to say R sub two equals, and then, and then on the other side of the equation, there's no R sub twos, but it's just R sub T and R sub one over here. Okay. So let's see if we can let's see if we can do that. So the first thing I would notice is well, there's a fraction, and generally we want to get rid of any fractions, and then make it a lot simpler. So what we do to do that is we multiply by the denominator of this fraction. So in this case, this is R sub one times R sub two. So we're gonna multiply this fraction times R sub one plus R sub two. And what that does is that that's cancels the denominator. But of course, if we multiply it on the right side, we have to multiply it the same thing on the left. So let's go ahead and do that on the left. R sub one plus R sub two. This is R sub one here. Okay, this is R sub two. Eh, having to write small. Okay, um, so over here that cancels this, and that's good. That's what we want. That that way we don't have a fraction over here. So what's left over here is just R sub one times R sub two. So the resistance from the first light bulb times the resistance from the second. Okay, that's what these mean. And on this side we have R sub T, so that's the total resistance, times this parenthesis, so R sub 1 plus R sub 2. Now, can you guess what we want to do next? If you guessed we want to distribute this, then that's correct. So the R sub T is going to multiply with both of these terms in this parenthesis. So R sub T times R sub 1, R sub T times R sub 2. So that's going to give us R sub T, R sub 1, 
plus r sub t, r sub 2. r sub t, r sub 2. On the right side of the equation, we still have r sub 1 times r sub 2. So r sub 1, r sub 2. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go back uh, for a second. What were we trying to get by itself? That's right. We're trying to get r sub 2 by itself. Okay. So we want to get r sub 2 where it just says r sub 2 equals and then everything else. So you might notice there are multiple terms that have r sub 2 in them. So this one does not, but this one does, right? It says r sub t times r sub 2. So it has an r sub 2 factor. And so does this one. It has an r sub 2 factor. So what you want to do is get everything that has an r sub 2 factor together on the same side. So what, we're, what I think we should do is just subtract this from both sides of the equation. And that way you have all your r sub 2s on the same side. So we have an r sub 1 r sub 2, and then we have an r sub minus r sub t r sub 2. Because we, if we subtract on the left side, we have to subtract on the right. Whatever you do on one side of the equation, you have to do it on the other side of the equation um, to keep equality. So on the left side now, we have r sub t, r sub 1. And on the right, we have this. But notice they both have an r sub 2, which is good. We want to get r sub 2 by itself. What I would say is, why don't we factor out the r sub 2 from both of these terms? So we're going to factor out the r sub 2 from both those terms. So when we factor out the r sub 2 from this, it's an r sub 1. And when we factor out the r sub 2 from this, it's r sub t. Okay, So it's r sub 2 times r sub 1 minus r sub t. Notice if I distributed this back, you'd get back up to here. So you know that these are equal. Now we're very close to finishing. We want to get r sub 2 by itself. So we want to get rid of this factor. And the way we get rid of this factor is by dividing by it. So we divide by r sub 1 minus r sub t. So divide by that. And if we divide, on, divide by this on the right side, we have to do the same on the left side. This cancels here. We get r sub 2 by itself, which is what we want. And then here's the other side of the equation. So r sub 2 equals r sub t times r sub 1 divided by r sub 1 minus r sub t. Okay. This one. Okay. Part B. The total resistance in a circuit with two parallel resistors is 2 ohms. So this is R sub T, that's the total resistance. The total resistance is two ohms. So again, that's R sub T. And the resistance for the first one, so R sub one is six ohms. Using the equation for R sub two in terms of R sub T, R sub one, and what is R sub two? So this equation we just got, we are going to plug in two of the values for R sub T and r sub 1. So r sub t will be 2, and r sub 1 will be 6. And we're going to plug those both into this equation to figure out what r sub 2 is. So here's our equation. r sub 2 equals r sub t times r sub 1 over r sub 1 minus r sub t. And we, according to this problem, r sub t the total resistance, so you'll have 2 ohms. And R sub 1 was 6 ohms. So we want to figure out what's R sub 2 in this case. So what we would do is we want to replace R sub t and R sub 1 with these values here. So R sub 2 equals R sub t, so that would be 2, I'll put in parentheses, times r sub 1, so that's 6, so that's r sub t times r sub 1, over r sub 1 minus r sub t, so 6 minus 2, okay? See if you can work out what that is, okay? See if you can finish this, figure out what this is. 
So um, figure out what the top would be, figure out what the bottom would be, and then top divided by bottom. And that'll give you whatever the answer here is, okay? See if you could do that on your own. Pretty confident you could do it. Here's the equation, here's the, um, the setup again. Question two, light bulbs act as resistors. Janine is buying a circuit that contains two light bulbs in parallel. One of the light bulbs has a resistance of 120 ohms, but the resistance of the second light bulb is unknown. She models the total resistance in the circuit T with this equation in which R represents the resistance of the second light bulb. So T equals Here's the equation here, T equals 120 R divided by R plus 120. So we want to find, it says we want to find the inverse of Janine's equation. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab this equation here. And we want to find the inverse of it. So basically that means that we want to solve for the independent variable. So see how it says T equals whatever? we want to get it to where it says R equals whatever. So I want to get R by itself. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So this one starts off very similar to the one we did for the, the last question. Um, remember how the last one had a fraction and we multiplied both sides by the denominator of that fraction. Remember this had a fraction, we multiplied by the denominator to cancel that. So that's what we're going to do here to start. So we're going to multiply by r plus 120 on both sides of the equation, which is the denominator. That's basically how you always cancel a fraction when you want to solve for something. You just multiply by the denominator. But whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So that's why we're doing it on the left as well. So on the right side, we have 120r. And over here, we have t. I'm going to put the T in front, but T times R plus 120. Okay. Can you guess what we're going to do next? Hopefully you see that you, we would distribute the T here. T times the R, T times the 120. So T times R is TR. T times 120 is 120R. Or sorry, T times 120 is 120T. And again, just as a reminder, we were trying to get R by itself. We're trying to get R by itself. So do you see how we have R's on both sides of the equations? Well, generally, we don't want that. We want to get all our R's together on the same side. So let's go ahead and subtract TR from the left. That way, we only have R's on the right. And since we subtracted TR on the left, we have to subtract TR on the right as well. So on the left, now we just have 120t. And on the right, we have 120r minus tr. But I'm going to factor out the r. Hopefully this looks familiar to the last one we did. Okay. So you know this is correct because if we distribute the r back, we should get back to where we started. Now, we, since we want to get R by itself, we want to get rid of this factor, the 120 minus T. So we're going to go ahead and divide that on both sides of the equation. And now we have R by itself. So it says this cancels, so we're left with R equals, and then it's this on the other side of the equation. So 120T. over 120 minus t. Okay, that's it. So make sure when, you, when you're typing in here, make sure to use this, this equation editor and it makes it come out really nice. So first we want a fraction. So we click on this part, thing right here and we want 120 t on top. And then we want 120 minus t on bottom.
That would be it. That's the inverse. So whenever we're finding an inverse, you're just solving for the other variable. So see how this has t by itself? When we're finding the inverse, we want to get the other variable by itself, r in this case. So we get r by itself. Okay. Hopefully that makes some sense. Okay, part B. Janine determines that the total resistance of her circuit is 80 ohms. Using the inverse equation modeling this situation, find the resistance of the second light bulb. Okay, so it's one of these. All right, so the total resistance is 80 ohms. So in our case, we're going to use this formula again, the one we just found, and we're going to replace T with 80. So it'll be 120 T becomes 120 times 80. And then the denominator would be 120 minus 80. So we're just replacing both T's with the total resistance, in this case, 80 ohms. Okay, so that'll look like this. So the resistance of the second light bulb will be 120 times T, which we determined T is 80 from the problem. divided by 120 minus t, which is 80. 120 minus t, but we know t is 80. Okay, so work out what that is, and you should get one of these answer choices. All right, um, so go ahead and finish working out what this is. I think you could do that on your own. Okay. Well, I hope that made sense. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, my email is t-t-r-i-g-g at o-f-y dot o-r-g. So that's t-trig with two g's at o-f-y dot org. All right. Well, take care. See you next time.